Hello guys, welcome. You are watching Technology Welfare. Let's see in this video tutorial how to terminate iCloud activation log from this device. Here, this is iPhone 7 Plus has been linked here and asking that enter your Apple ID and a password that were used to set up this device. Here, see guys, whenever I am going to connect to this device, it's a saying that enter your Apple ID and a password that were used to set up this device. So if we don't know what is the real ID and the password, then how we will terminate this activation lock. So here, I will show you by virtue of the console method, we will be able to terminate it. So first and foremost, you need to uh, download this uh, imaginary software. So this is imaging software. Here, what I will do guys, first and foremost, I will go for, just uh, scroll down it and I will show the device here this console and I'm going to clear it so what I will do guys first and foremost I will clear all the console that is a present on this device so see after each five minute I need to clear this console anyhow on the other hand what you have to do guys just you have to you have to obtain your three tools here and you need to have this beta version why i'm telling you because as we know that if i come on this uh, here i am is uh, sorry imaging software so on imaging software see guys here when i will come on this help dot options now see here ios version is a 13.5.1 is working at the moment so what i will do guys here see all the details has been given here so you need to confirm that what Vita of iOS will support here so of course 14 is going to support here why I know that 14 will support here see simply I will click on this device link so see at the moment this device has been uh, connected now just I will come on a flash in the flash just I will go for here see guys on an easy flash just I will clear and I will go for refresh so it will automatically recommend to you what's iOS thus you need to now see guys it's saying that 13.6 gm you need to yeah otherwise but I need to go for beta version so what I will do guys is simply I will click on this firmware in a firmware see actually the first one is a highlighted in the highlighted in a yellow color that's when we need to uh, download it so I'm not going to download actually I have already downloaded it and saved in my computer so just I'm going to import it that's all here so just uh, let me here import it so what I will do just once again I will click on AG flash and I will import this one so see here I have kept this one uh, where it is see this is a B1 and uh, this is uh, uh, so let me confirm which one it is uh, this one I need to so let me cut once again and I will come on a beta 2 and this is the last one 9i so I need to import this one 9i so this is a uh, yeah I need to import this 9i so let me have a detail of it this is V but we need to 9i so what I will do, what I will do guys here see actually I have kept this one here so I can import from here also it so let me import from here I have kept this one in uh, my pen drive here see and uh, if I once again let me select here this ones uh, just uh, I will come on there and uh, let me have 
on IPSW. Here, it's not saved, guys. So I need to import it directly from USB pen drive. So just have a from USB pen drive. So I will click here and I will select this ones and just have a open it. So now see it has started to verify here. So it will take a verifications. On the other hand, let me come on a console. Once again, I need to clear this all the console. Now, once again, I need to clear. Now see guys, all the console is a clearing and accumulating also here. So now it's accumulating. So after each five minutes, you need to clear all the console guys. Now gradually, the console is coming here. I need to once again clear. Now on the other hand, just uh, need to see the verification of this one. 27 percent is here. iTunes still it's locked. So we have a two method here, guys. Buy a iTunes also you can go for it to proceed otherwise directly you can let me clear first this console by using of the 3 or tool also we have a one option here see I will show you but see after finishing just uh, you need to here uh, let it verify first and then you need to tell uh, you need to guys here to uh, just to click on this crash analysis and you need to uh, delete uh, some data that is available, available on this device spontaneously at the end time I will show you how you will activate this it's a uh, how you will go for deactivating these options guys here so see guys how you will click on this deactivate and how you will able to terminate this iCloud activation permanently and how you will get opportunity on a iTunes here to generate a new Apple ID and a password of this device so first and foremost I will see that it's uh, still verifying and if you see the situation of the console matter guys it's a still accumulating guys so lot of the data is available on this it's a clearing a still let me clear so see guys it's a still accumulating so let me just uh, minimize it once again and I will come on here now it has been imported now what I will do guys simply I will click on a toolbox and after coming the toolbox just I will click on this crash analysis and just I will delete all the data that is available here just I will hold the control button press the A and press the T and uh, yeah otherwise simply you can click here on a delete button now see all the successfully the file has been deleted now what I will do guys now at the end time I will show you how you will go for deactivate by this option so watch carefully step by step so that absolutely you will be able to 100 percent you will be able to terminate otherwise if you execute the procedure wrong there might be linked to your apple id once again so you will have to once again proceed this procedure then you will be able to so here now it's the time to come on this uh, on a flash options and just i will select i will select here see retain user data this is a quick flash mode and this is anti-recovery flash anti recovery flash so you want to be able to recover the any data that is uh, here so what I will do guys just I will go for anti recovery flash I no need to recover the any data so what I will do now anti recovery flash just I am going here if I click on this options on a this ones so it will give you all the details and the what is uh, actually it is now let me close it show sure. now what I am going to here click here 
yeah otherwise see directly you can go for the quick flash mode also but at the moment just i am going here anti recovery flash i not i don't require the any data this is available on this device because it has been in a stolen mode guys so now i am going to flash it so it's a saying that if you would like to backup of course you can backup otherwise directly you can go for flash it so see it's up to you guys what you would like to if you would like to backup of this of course you can have otherwise and directly you can go for flash it so guys here now i'm going to flash it so simply i will click on this flash option let's see what will happen so now see guys it has started to detect the all kind of the product type here still it's saying that uh, error is detected so what i will do in that situation if error is coming then simply what you have to do just you have to come in a toolbox and push the push this device in a recovery mode guys so what i will do guys here just enter the recovery mode i will go for so now see guys it has been trying to put into the recovery mode this device so finally it has gone in the recovery mode so just i will go for go to flash it now i will select this ones i will select this uh here quick flash